Hey Mark, how's it going? I'm starting up top here because uh, I'm working around some other folks here. So this is going to be your upstairs south end bedroom. Overlooks the backyard. Could use a little work over there. You see it's a little muddy. Uh, there's small things here, you know, some molding, some carpet stains here. You know, mostly cosmetic stuff. Um, I'm not really seeing anything that would be concerning as far as like structural or anything like that. And here's a second bedroom. Sorry, I'm going to kind of rush through this one. I was hoping I wouldn't have to do so. But there's a lot of people here to see this house today, so... And all vinyl windows. There's your neighbors. The next street over there. And we've got hardy plank for the exterior siding. And very much, you know, a 90s build, as you can see. And here's the shared bath upstairs. There's me. How you doing? I know I said I was going to use my equipment, but these people were here, so I just rushed in here and I kind of cut them off so I can get this video for you. It may be a little bit of water damage there, or just dried. And here's your utility room. Okay. Bedroom number three. Again, with a few little stains there. little nook here and then the master bedroom and it's nice to see that they have the access to the tub there a lot of times people forget to put that in nice walk-in closet separated shower and toilet closet and again, it all looks pretty good. I mean, there's a few stains here on the carpet here and there, but nothing overly concerning. I'm not even seeing settling in the ceilings or anything like that. So, however, I do not know how, there we go. Those didn't turn on earlier. So the only switch for that is upstairs here. You've got some good amount of windows here. So you should get nice daylight. We're a little cloudy today, but and they've also got the shade shut and everything here. So you've got your front living room, front doorway there. There's the stairs as we go up. There's your shared half bath and your dining room. All right. And as I kind of spin around here, I'm standing in the hallway to the garage at the moment. Now I'm coming in here for you. And there's storage closet and there's your door to the garage there. And kitchen island. And so you have access on both sides of the home here. And as I step out, I'll show you the garage real fast. So two car garage, there's your panel, nicely oversized as you can see with back access there as well. So water heater, furnace. Now let's go step out here. <laughs> Check out the back of the house real fast. I don't want to get too muddy, but as you can see on the front, I was telling you we had hardy plank. On the back here, they have this older T111. Um, you would eventually want to replace it, as you can see here. There's your condenser. It could update the condenser as well. So they've done a cosmetic exterior job, is what I like to call it, because all they do is change the front facing 
siding that everybody can see to Hardy Plank. So since you can't see the other three sides of the home, you don't really know that it's not there. So I'm gonna finish this up and we will kind of finish up the video from the front on our way out here. And I'm just gonna throw this key in there for them. All right, I'm all done. If you want to just grab a key and I'll just shut this. And oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. You are the agent, correct? Yes. Okay, I good. Am. There you go. Thank, Thank you. you. Ready? Looks like a bit of a newer roof here. So, this is what I've seen with that cosmetic exterior. You can see it's all hardy plank here. And then again, there's the side of the T111. So, other than that, I mean, it's a nice, quiet neighborhood. Clackamas, good area. Shopping, restaurants nearby. And there's my car. So, all in all, I think it's a nice house. Um, I would say, though, the siding is going to be the biggest concern. Um, more than likely, um, I would say update that to the hardy plank uh, would be the first thing on the back there it looked like there might have been a little bit of water damage uh, that's definitely what t111 is known for and that's why a lot of people don't like it because it would um, absorb water become waterlogged which could then lead into other areas damage and stuff like that so i will get this uploaded over